Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this video, we are going to discuss about introduction with few numerical problems. So, decoder is a combinational logic circuit device which is helpful to convert n number of input lines to the two power n output line. If we have n number of input lines, we can get two power n unique combinations. So, input lines are nothing but the binary bits. So, for two number of binary bits, it can produce four unique combinations. For three, it can produce eight combinations. For four, it can generate sixteen combinations. So decoder size is always n plus two n to the power n. Therefore, two plus four, three plus eight, and four is plus sixteen. If we take the example of two plus four decoder, we have this block diagram for two plus four decoder. Those inputs are a and b, and its input value will be in the binary form, either zero or one. So four combinations like zero zero, zero one, one zero, and one one here we can see in the table, and As per the zero zero output, D zero will be one, and D one, D two, D three will be zero zero zero. So in the decoder, only one output is high at a time for a given input combinations. So decoder is nothing but to decode the actual information from the binary coded words. So zero zero is the one binary coded word, zero one is the another binary coded word, one zero is the another binary coded word, and similarly one one is the another binary coded word. So these words can be decoded in that unique representation, like D zero is one. Which is representing to zero zero combination. D one is one, which is for zero one. D two is one, which is for one zero, and D three is one, which is for one one. So if we write the logical expression for the given combination, D zero is high only if A and B both are zero zero. Therefore, D zero is equal to A complement B complement. D one is high only if A is zero, B is one. So its momentum is A complement B. D two is high only if A is one, B is zero. Therefore, D two is A B complement, and similarly, D three is one when A and B both are one one. So, D three is written as A or B. So, overall understanding from this presentation or this slide is that inputs are the binary bits which can give us the only one output high at a time, and output of the decoders are nothing but momentums. Output of the decoders are nothing but momentum. So, one momentum will be high for a given input binary combination. So, let me understand. A few examples based on the decoder. Okay, now we'll see a numerical problem. Uh, the function is given in some of the terms. We'll see this function, implementing of this function using decoder. So this function is given in some of the terms. Min term two, three, four, five, and seven. So it can be written as m three, sorry, m two plus m three plus m four plus m five plus m seven. So min term seven can be represented by Three binary bit. The decoder size must be required three cross eight, because largest momentum is seven, which can be generated by three binary bit combination, and the binary representation of seven is one one one. If I draw the three cross eight decoder, three input line will be required, and eight output lines will be required. Three cross eight decoder. So input lines are A, B, and C. Output lines are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So first line is D zero. This is one, D two, D three, D four, D five, D six, and D seven. So D zero, D one, D two are representing the momentums M zero, M one, M two, and so on. So we have this line is giving as momentum zero, M zero. This line is M one. This line is M two. This line is M three. Similarly, M four, M five, M six, and M seven. The final output is sum of all the momentums. Those are given in the expression, which is two, three, four, five, and seven. So we will use one OR gate. We will use one OR gate, and this is the OR gate. And input of these OR gates are the given sum of given momentums. Momentum two is the one input. Momentum three is another input for this decoder. Momentum four is another input. Momentum five and momentum seven. So this is the function output for the given expression that is implemented by using decoder. Let me see another example here. The another expression is given. In the form of Boolean function, 
Another example is given in the form of Boolean function f, which is a equal to a b plus b complement c complement. So here this function is not given in sum of min term. This function is given in sum of product. So first of all, we know output of decoder are the min terms. So we need to convert this function in sum of min term from sum of product. So how can we convert this function in sum of min term? And this function is given in a b plus b complement c complement, including three literals or three variables. Three variables are here a b and c. So it can be written as a b dot c plus c complement plus a plus a complement dot b complement dot c complement. So what are we doing here? Just we are multiplying c plus c complement with the a b to generate the function in sum of min term. Min terms means each and every variable should present in each term. So here in this we have only a b c is missing. So we are filling this c by using multiplying one with the a b and one is nothing but c plus c complement. Similarly in the second term a is missing. So we are multiplying a plus a complement with the b complement and c complement. So if we expand this function, it will be equal to ABC plus ABC complement plus AB complement C complement plus A complement B complement C. So ABC is nothing but it's a min term 7 because A, B, and C are 1, 1, 1. So by decimal representation of 1, 1, 1 is 7. Similarly, ABC complement, ABC complement means 1, 1, 0. Which is represented to min term 6, A B complement C complement, which is 1 0 0, it means it's M4. Similarly, A complement B complement C complement is M0. So this function is nothing but sum of 0, 4, 6, 7. Now, as similar to the previous problem, we can implement this function with the help of uh, with the help of 3 cross 8 decoder. So now we have uh, three input lines and eight output lines for the decoder. Three cross eight. Input lines A, B, and C. Eight output lines 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the min term 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, 8 output lines. So, this is 3 cross 8 decoder. And final expression of this function is sum of 0, 4, 6, 7. So, we will use one OR gate to implement this function with the help of decoder. So, OR gate and we are using here. And input for this OR gate are 0, min term 0, min term 4, min term 6, and min term 7. So these are the two problems we have seen so far. One more problem we have here in this in this presentation: the function is give, the, the, the decoder circuit is given. We need to find the function for the given circuit. So this is the function we need to find. What should be the function for the given circuit? And this is three cross eight decoder. Inputs are zero, three, and six for this NOR gate. Here it is NOR gate. It's not an OR gate. It's NOR gate. So function is equal to what sum of 0, 3, 6 complement. So sigma 0, 3, 6 is the OR operation on the min term, but it, the gate is given in the circuit is an OR gate. So function is equal to sum of 0, 3, 6 complement, which can be written in the form of pi 0, 3, 6. And this pi 0, 3, 6 is nothing, nothing but product of max term. It is called as product of max term. The terms missing in the product of max term will consider in the sum of min term. So the term 1, 2, 4, 5, and 7 are the ex expression for sum of min term. So we have two answers for this question. One is product of 0, 3, 6, and another one is sum of 1, 2, 4, 5, 7. So this is the one function. The function is given in the product of max term. This is another function if function is given in the sum of uh, min term. So for the, this, this, this circuit diagram, we have two answers. One in the product of max term, another one in the sum of min terms. I hope everyone get the clarity about decoder and 
external related problems on the decoder. In the next video, you will see how to design the higher order decoders with the help of lower order decoders. It means how to design 4 plus 16 decoder with the help of 3 plus 8 decoder or 2 plus 4 decoder. Similarly, how to design 6 cross 64 decoder with the help of 3 plus 8 decoder or 4 plus 16 decoder.